Good evening, class. Welcome, Claudia Maria, Norma Patricia, Sandra Leticia, Celia Cristina, Pablo Adalberto. Good evening, everyone. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good, Good evening. evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. You are very, very happy today because today is the last class, right? And then vacations. Oh. Okay, <laughs> excellent. Great, amazing. Okay, listen, we still have two minutes left. I think that all of you have already finished your work in the platform, right? Yeah, Claudia Maria, yes. Norma, yes, you did it. And Pablo also, and Celia Cristina also, you did it. Congratulations, very well done. So now you don't have any pending activities with the uh, class. Hello, Concepcion. Welcome. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome, everyone. Okay, we have one minute left in order to wait for the other partners. Listen, at 8 said exactly, we're going to start with the completion of your survey, okay? The satisfaction survey. And everybody at the same time, because they need to have the the screenshot that you're going to take, okay? So you can share it. Over here, Marina Yancy, welcome. How are you? I hope everybody is okay, okay? Everybody great. And here, okay? So get ready for the feedback, okay? For what we practiced yesterday. In class, we're going to have a kind of brainstorming. And is somebody writing over here? Let me see. Mm, no, not from the group of the class. Okay, so it is exactly the time to get started. Welcome everyone again. Uh, this is the last day together for this level. And tomorrow, no class, but your grades are great in the platform as far as I know for the people in here. Marina Jansi, did you finish your activities in the platform? Oh no. Um, oh my God. I think that you are owing me the last uh, test, right? The final test. Creo que me debe el examen final, ¿verdad Marina Jansi? Sí. sí. Okay, muy bien. Dario is done. I'm going to double check right now. Let me see if I can. Okay, here. Um, because good, evening, some, good evening, welcome everyone. Yeah, because uh, there were two girls who okay, here directly. Okay, here, let me see. Now to administer students, the grades book. Okay. Atilio is done. Brandon is done. Celia Cristina is done. Claudia is done. Everything. Concepcion also is done. Darío, congratulations. Excellent too. Um, Stephanie Carranza is done. Josue is done with everything. Juan Antonio, Tony is done with everything. Carla Sofia finished. Luis Miguel also finished everything. The two evaluations, the two tests and the homeworks. One, two, three, and four. Marina Jansi is done, Mirna Lisette is done, everything. Nelly, mm, Nelly Lilibet is showing me the final test. Norma is done with everything. Nelly is showing me the final test. And let me see who else. Uh, Sandra Leticia is, Sandra Leticia. But, in here you have everything, Sandra Leticia. And Wendy, 
Okay. So only Nelly is showing me the final test, the rest. Okay, you may double check. So congratulations, class. Nelly, the, Nelly Libet, hello. The final test you are owing me, okay? Necesita okay. tomar el examen final, Nelly. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Hoy, después de la clase, para que tenga completo. Hello, everyone. Hey. Tony, welcome. Hello, teacher. Emilio, hello, hello, welcome. Let me see hello, who else teacher. is over here. Mariana Scarlett. Good evening. Maybe today she can join to groups because today is the last day of classes. Okay, class. So glad that you are here. Okay, it is our last day together. And here we go. I'm going to start us every single day sharing my PPT for you. Okay, here we go. Watch this. I don't know what's going on over here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, great. Okay, now here we go. Today is November 29th, 2022. And we are going to get started, okay, from the very beginning. Again, today is your last day in basic module five. Your next level is six. Congratulations, class, for being very responsible, persistent, and Everybody's done with the activities in the platform. So you have warranted academically your certificate, okay, for module six, but for the attendance, that's something different. So today is our video conference number 20th. That is the following. Greetings as every day, feedback, objectives. With us, we have practice unit for content and also the preparation task and uh, the task, the highlight for today is practice unit for content working at page 48. But here we go again, only thank you because every day I was reminding you about this and yesterday as I was updating the, the grades and almost everybody was done. There were two girls still at midnight yesterday, but now, only one of you is owing me the final test. The rest, done. Excellent. Congratulations. The requirements as every day, the full name in the camera, okay? If you are listeners, add the word listener, the camera on, minimize the sounds, please. Actually, right now, somebody is with the microphone on, and we can listen all the sounds that are around you. Remember that everything is recorded. And active participation, okay, 100% as every day you did in this level. Congratulations. Again, a reminder for your attendance. Remember, it is, it is a requirement from INSA4, yeah? 120 minutes is the class, so you have to be here. The attendance is taken twice, and at the end, one of you have been staying with me. 10 minutes after the class for the one-on-one -on -one session. Thank you so much for that class because I know that you wake up very early, you are tired, and even so you stayed with me, okay? As always, you know, by heart this, right? In Zoom, the mute button is available, camera on, the chats, the two chats are available, the Zoom and the WhatsApp. The Ask for Help button in the breakout room is available. And above all, as every day I tell you, respect, okay, for everyone and for everything. And this is the last week, section four, final exercises and the final test from November 23rd to November 29th. Thank God we have done it in the uh, scheduled days, okay? No problem, we don't have to take another day in order to recover, okay, one session. And now it is the turn for you to talk because I've been talking a lot. 
objectives as every day I need three participants. Remember today is the last day you're going to participate reading the general objective, specific objective and a class objective. Who's going to help me reading the general objective? Thank you, Concepcion. General objective participants will develop competency that will allow them to mark a step in a progress and as an answer question to check that maintenance procedures are met in face-to-face -face and telephone conversation with others in work situation. Thank you so much. Very well done. I need another participants to help me reading the specific objective. Who's going to be that volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Ms. Norma Patricia. The specific objective. Participant will be able to practice Unit four content. Excellent, great. And the class objective, the volunteer is? Hey, teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, go ahead. Miss the class objective. Hello, what happened? What happened to my volunteer? The microphone. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Wendy, Wendy. Okay, go ahead, Wendy. Class, class objective. Be, by the end of the lapse participant, we be over the remember of the contain a uniform. Excellent. So by the end of these lessons, you as participants will be able to remember all the contents of unit four okay everything so here we go let's begin with the company procedures and policies as a feedback as a review what you were doing yesterday the conversation between ray and ashley yeah okay here we're going to be practicing with this conversation but i'm going to share it from your manual Okay, because okay, it is better for you. Okay, here let's see. We have some some conversations over here. <laughs> this is the one hello uh, between Mr. Ray and Ashley, and I'm going to ask Miss Celia to read Ashley. And Tony, please read Mr. Ray. Okay. What's the sign, Celia? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, Celia, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Tony. Do you know the procedures and rules of your are of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to rest a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Good afternoon, Tony and welcome to our company. Thank you, Miss Celia. Do you know the processes and rules of our company? No, not yet, Miss. Okay, where do you want to start? And what about how to request a permission? Sounds good, I will explain them to you first. Okay, thank you so much. Remember here, procedures and rules, procedures and rules. And here it was very nice because remember I explained to you that when you say, sir, you don't mention the name or last name of the gentleman or of the man. And Tony did it perfectly because he replaced and he said, miss, yeah? And, but you could say Miss Choto, Miss Elia Cristina, whatever. But uh, if it is a, 
and that's a young uh, lady, you say mom, yeah? With no last name or name. Excellent. So this is one of the conversations that you have been practicing lately. And we have another one, okay? The other one, the other one that you were practicing yesterday is this one between Brad and Annie. And I'm going to ask two more participants in order to practice the same as Miss Celia Cristina and Tony did. Okay, so do I have volunteers or do you want me to choose the volunteers? Do I have a lady who wants to practice this conversation? One girl? Um, me teacher. Okay, now I need a boy. Nelson, okay. Nelson, okay, you're going to read Brad. Hey, me teacher. Yes, you're going to read Annie. <laughs> Sandra Leticia, you're going to read Annie. Let's begin Annie. to the count of three. Okay. One, two, three. Let's begin. Okay. Hi, Sandra. How is it going? Hello. Um, can, con Nelson, eh, verdad? <laughs> but, hello, Nelson. Yes. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss, call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification, a warning, or warning, why brand? brand? Well, be well, because I didn't show go to work today, <laughs> I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will to turn. Thanks, Sandra. Okay. Now I'll switch. Okay. Yes, <laughs> but remember, remember, if you start okay. saying Nelson, you need to continue saying Nelson. Okay. okay. Uh, hi, Nelson. How is it going? Hello, Sandra. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker uh, doesn't come to work? Well, if someone <clears throat> doesn't come, my boss calls him <laughs> or her, and when the person returns, her or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Sandra? Uh, well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain how, how the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Nelson. Okay, very well. Now, class, listen, this conversation is at page 45, okay? <laughs> Company procedures and policies, which was basically the topic in unit four. So the conversation at page 45 and also the conversation at, we, at not yet, at page uh, 43, 45 and 43 are the two conversations, okay? Pages 43 and 45 are the two conversations that you are going to be practicing right now in the breakout rooms. Okay, but let me see if almost everybody's here. So I can take your attendance before, because remember that at 8 30 exactly, everybody needs to return so you can take the, the satisfaction survey. Is that okay? So I'm going to start uh, okay, calling your names for your attendance so we can take advantage of the time. And here we go, Atilio. Here I am, teacher. Thank you so much, Atilio. Uh, Brandon. Brandon is the one who is missing, right? Okay. Claudia Maria. Present. Thank you, miss. Concepción, present teacher. Thank you. Daniel, Darío, sorry. Darío, 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 I saw you. I am here, teacher. 
Okay, great. Ah, because you have the camera on. Excellent. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. Josue. Here. Great. Josue stayed with me yesterday. After class. Juan Antonio, Elias, Tony. Luis Miguel. Hello, Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Okay, great. Hello, hello. Yes. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Yeah, we can listen to you. Mariana Scarlett. Mariana Scarlett. Okay, Mariana Scarlett, you are here. Marina Jansi. Present. Okay, Marina Jansi. Mirna Lisset. Mirna Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly. Present. Thank you. Nelson. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Great. Pablo. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla Sofía. Present. Miss Celia Cristina Choto. Present. Over here always. Okay, great. Right now, class, I'm going to ask a platform to um, transfer you to the breakout rooms and tell me which are the conversations that you are going to be practicing the same as they are. The conversations that are at pages 43 and 45. But remember, use your real names and last names and switch roles, okay? They are short. And remember, you need to practice pronunciation. So you need to show fluency and confidence because your next level is number six. Here we go. Saben, uh, uh, las conversaciones de la página 43 y 45 son las que van a practicar, ¿sí? Y van a intercambiar roles utilizando sus nombres reales, ¿de acuerdo? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five groups. Here, let me see. Okay, here we go. Mm. Okay. Because, let me see how many students, one, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Let me see. So I can have four, four, four. One, two, three, four. No, there cannot be five people in one group of three. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Okay. And here we go, four, 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 and there is only one group of three because you are five, uh, I mean, 19 people so far. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation because there cannot be five people in one and three in another one. I send you the invitation, practice. Join your groups if you are so nice, please. Bye, Miss Elia Cristina. Enjoy your group. Enjoy your new group, Miss Elia Cristina.
Josue, please join your group and Marianne Scarlett, please remember that the platform counts when you join the other groups. Bye. 43 y 45. Ok, Wendy, Maricel, Nelson, Orlando, and Pablo. Very well. Stephanie Carranza is always here. Ok, the girls are available. Stephanie and Wendy. Ok, 43 and 45. Practice speaking. Ok. 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 Bye. Sí, ahí estoy. Ahí estamos. Con la de la número 43. They are supposed to be. Ah, Mariana Scarlett is in the other, the other participant. But here you are okay. Tony, Miss Celia Cristina, and Darío Antonio. No problem. Mm -hmm. Right? Great. <laughs> Ok, bye. Bye. Esta no la... Sandra. Where? Because I didn't show, show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, uh, Norma. Ok. Hi, Sandra. How is how is it going? Hello, Norman. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Norma? Well, because I don't show up to work. Then to you first. Okay, next. Good afternoon, Concepcion, and welcome to your company. Thank you. Aquí es Vaya, otra vez. Good yes. afternoon, Atilio. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Do you know the rules, the rules of our company? No, no yet, Miss Mirna. Okay, when do you want to start? What a wow, how do you request a permission? So good. We explained them to you first. <clears throat> good afternoon, Mirna. And welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Atilio. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not just zero. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Oh, good. I will explain it to you first. Mm -hmm. How is going? It, it is going. Hello, Stephanie. I am I found, and you? I am okay. I am okay. Thank you a lot. I want to add. You want those your boss do when and work and those those coming to work. Well, if some does they come, my boss call him or her, and um, when the person return he or either receive notification or warning, 
Why, Brad? Okay. Aquí va. Creo que es why, okay, Stephanie. Hello, why? Hello, uh, it's why? time to return to the main session room, okay? So we can start with the uh -huh, with the survey. Later we continue practicing. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. Let's wait for the other partners to return from the practice. Okay, let me see. One, two groups are still, three groups are still working. Okay, right now we're going to get started to uh, work on the completion of the satisfaction survey, okay? And in order to do that, I'm going to share a video with you to make sure that everything is fine. But let's wait for, let me see how many other people. Okay, I think everybody's done. Only Brandon is missing. Brandon, ah, you're here. <laughs> Just in time, Brandon. Okay, that's great. You see me, boy. Yeah, yeah, we realize, but just in time, no problem. Okay, Brandon, esta es la primera vez que usted va a llenar esta encuesta, ¿verdad? Porque es su primera participación en la en la, en la academia. Entonces, sí, sí. Um, lo va a llenar eh, vía correo o vía el mensaje que envió la administración WhatsApp. Yo digo que vía correo. Ah, vaya, perfecto. Entonces yo les voy a ir compartiendo el video para que vayan viendo el paso a paso, ¿verdad? Porque en el caso de Brandon, pues es primera vez, los demás ya tienen experiencia. Pero sí, Brandon, hay información eh, que hay que ir copiando y pegando. Entonces vamos a ir deteniendo sí, el video, ¿verdad? Ok, muy okay, bien. Perfecto. Ok, here we go. Ok. Right now. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. ¿Todo mundo ingresó ya? Permítame, Tiche. Ok. Hace clic en el enlace. Yo ya lo tengo listo. Vaya, sí, vamos a esperar a Brandon y a tener paciencia porque es su primera vez, ¿de acuerdo? Y si necesita ayuda, todos le vamos a ayudar porque la empatía es lo que reina en este grupo. Y Brandon nos avisa cuando esté listo. Listo, teacher. Ok, here we go. ¿Ya hizo clic en el enlace para llenar la encuesta? ¿Sí? Sí, sí, ya estoy dentro okay. de ella. Bien, acá vamos. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número 1. El orden de inicio. Sí. Nos avisa, Brando. Listo. Ok. Let's continue. El siguiente punto, vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Ok, tal cual como se los han compartido. Ok. Sería... 
nombres y apellidos suyos, Brandon, así como se los han compartido en el, en el correo que le enviaron? Este, no lo veo. Ahí eh, le voy a repetir, eh, voy a retroceder un poquito para que vea dónde va ubicado, ¿sí? Vaya. Mire acá, primero aparece detalle del curso, luego orden de inicio, el tercer eh, eh, no, eh, nombre completo según registro de Instaform, ¿sí? Se ubica, acá en rosadito se lo tiene marcado el del ejemplo, ¿sí? Nombre completo del proveedor. No, no, suyo, suyo, su nombre completo. Acá dice nombre completo según, según registro de Instaform. Ahí tiene que estar su nombre. Ya lo ubico. Eh, uh -huh. Ya encontró su nombre, Brandon. Eh, no, en el mensaje no está en este que me mandaron. En el correo aparece el nombre. Sí, en el correo que le enviaron, ajá, está. En el mensaje que enviaron vía WhatsApp, no, pero en uh -huh. el correo sí, porque el mensaje en general para todos. Sí recibió el, el, el correo, ¿verdad, Brandon? Eh, solo el mensaje, porque aquí en el correo no tengo nada. Búsquelo en... No deseados. Eh, ajá, en spam. Ay, perdona, lo manda. Sí, búsquelo ahí en spam ahí tiene que estar el remitente es Hazel Cardona Hazel Cardona ah correcto, ok uh -huh. Ay. Ay. Hazel Cardona ahí sí haga clic en buscar es corporativo Hazel Cardona inicia con, con H Nombre del curso. Es porque para que no lo vayan a escribir mal, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso se les pide copiar y pegar tal cual como están registrados, ¿de acuerdo? Eh, no lo encuentro. Sí. Entonces, su nombre completo. Entonces, su nombre completo, dos nombres y dos apellidos pero bien digitado, ¿de acuerdo? Con tranquilidad. ¿Cuál es esto? Eh, escribió Brandon José. ¿Josué? ¿verdad? Josué sí. Sabal. Sí. Muy bien, vaya. Entonces continuamos. De igual manera, información de los y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo de dicho personal que se ve proporcionado a inglés corporativo. Si escuchó, Brando, el correo electrónico el que ha proporcionado a inglés corporativo con el que ingresa a la plataforma de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Con ese, donde recibe la documentación. En noviembre. Listo. Revise bien, por favor, Brandon, el correo para verificar. Verifique que no haya omitido algo o digitado alguna letrita de más, porque tiene que ir exacto. ¿De acuerdo? Sí. Bien, continuamos, chicos. El 20. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a... Bien, entonces acá sexo solo es hacer clic, ¿verdad? En el que corresponda. Sí. Y pasamos al numeral 6, departamento de residencia. Escuchemos lo que nos dice en el video. Vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera, vamos a... Es el municipio donde actualmente viven, Brando. En sí. number six, departamento de residencia. <ríe> ¿Sí? 
Ahí nos avisa cuando haya terminado ese paso número seis. Listo. Ok, great. Ahora municipio de residencia. Colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Ha okay. quedado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan que okay. Acá es el nombre de la empresa en la cual laboran ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? Así como es la razón social, Brandon, ¿de acuerdo? Sí, sí. Ok. Solo que como no recibí el correo, Tich. Tiene que estar ahí, Brandon. A todos se los envían, créalo. Y entonces el nombre en de En el WhatsApp empresa... también mandaron el nombre de la empresa. Ah, sí. Pero... Veamos. De cada empresa. No, porque acá es la empresa de ustedes en la que laboran. No, pero es que mandar un WhatsApp sí. con el nombre de cada uno. De cada ah, empresa. vaya, entonces, Brandon, ¿Algo ¿A, ahí? Ahí. ¿A dónde, Tich? Al WhatsApp tiene que haberle llegado también. Uh -huh. WhatsApp. En el grupo de WhatsApp, el mensaje que le apareció a usted ahí. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Hola, hija, ya viniste. Asociación Cooperativa de Ahorro, Crédito y Pensión. Permítanme, quiero ver si... Dele, porque no Puedo ayudarle a este ¿Eh? equipo. ¿Qué pasó? Déjame, puedo, quiero ver por acá. Puedo guardar. Ya se me refrescó una vez y no le había dado nada. Veamos acá, tal vez puedo ayudarle a este chico Brandon acá en la lista de asistencia. Sí, porque es que no encuentro el correo, ya lo busqué por todos lados. Y es que había tenido está. problemas con eso, porque la compañera, una compañera de inglés corporativo lo había escrito mal, no sé si lo lograron arreglar. Pero fíjese, Brandon, que esas cositas usted nos las tiene que reportar a nosotros para que nosotros No, también... sí, sí, sí lo... Sí, sí, yo lo reporté, por eso le dije a la compañera que yo no estaba recibiendo nada. E incluso le hablé, ya después me hablaron y supuestamente me solucionaron eso. Vaya, mire, todo con mayúscula me aparece acá. PAE, ¿ese es el nombre de su empresa? Sí, PAE, ese es. Mi... Ok, PAE El Salvador LTDA de CB, ¿sí? LTDA de CB. CB sí. sin punto, ¿verdad? Lleva punto, se ve, Ajá. sí, todo va en mayúscula. Pa El Salvador, el ETA de CB. Y no sé, si, no sé si le va a poner, eh, porque antes era, acá dice antes outsourcing. Todavía. Ah, entre paréntesis, bueno, acá me ap aparece antes outsource coma S.A. de C.B. creo. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí? Así sí está correcto, Brandon. Sí, ese sí sería. Ajá. Ah, vaya, ok. Pero no le pongo outsourcing. Fíjese que así me aparece a mí acá. No sé cómo se lo habrán enviado. Eh, no, por, solo como por... para a El Salvador, el ETA de CB. Um, vamos a ver. Por aquí está Miss Flor Sánchez. Tal vez ella nos puede ayudar. Buenas noches, Miss Flor Sánchez. Buenas noches. Hola, en este caso, ¿cómo hacemos con este chico que dice que no ha recibido el correo? Pero um, por el nombre de la empresa. La razón social la tiene usted en el cuadro de asistencia y se la puede sí. compartir en chat eh, directo. Ah, vaya. Entonces, veamos. Sí, de ahí se la estaba queriendo. Okay. Mm. 
Voy a ir aquí. Veamos si se le puede compartir acá. Ah, sí, aquí está. Acá en el chat de Zoom se la voy a compartir. Ok, chicho. Gracias, mis Flor. Thank ya ven que, que, que es su primera vez, ¿verdad? Entonces, la empatía. ¿Sí la visualiza, Brandon? Sí, listo, ya estoy. Ok, ya. great. Vaya, entonces podemos seguir con el video. Vaya, yes. Con el siguiente paso. Yes, dice Brandon. <risa> ok, continuamos. Y ahí es en ese paso que estamos, ¿verdad? En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Fíjense bien, Brandon, acá tiene que movilizar, ¿verdad? Y ubicarse en inglés corporativo entre paréntesis Regal, Regal International, ¿ok? Sí, listo. Otro no, ¿ok? Listo. Bien, perfecto. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Okay. Esa información, Brandon, la tiene acá vía WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para que copie y pegue. Vamos a copiar el número del curso. Y vamos a colocar. Ok, esta información la tiene en WhatsApp. En el bloque de horario de videoconferencia, nivel. Listo. Ok, muy bien. Seguimos. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán, las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. La fecha de inicio del curso está también compartida vía WhatsApp, Brando. ¿Y qué dice cómo la va a seleccionar? En ese caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado, ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. Fíjese, Brando, que sea el 2022, ¿verdad? De acuerdo okay. a la fecha que se les ha compartido. Okay. Bien. Recuerden, chicos, que ya me están compartiendo la screenshot que debe de llevar su nombre, ¿verdad? Nombre y apellido para que se identifique de quién es esa imagen. Eso es al finalizar. Um, sí, pero de usted siga, siga normal, no se preocupe, le estoy diciendo a los otros chicos. Ah, ok. No, no, no se deben confundir. Porque acá solo es este, yo sé que es Celia Cristina, ¿verdad? Pero, pero el, eh, la persona que lo va a ver, no. Entonces ahí les pido de favor que le ponga su nombre. Excelente. <risa> Ya, teacher, lo siento, se me olvidó. Okay, ya, yeah, you see, you see little details. Thank you so much. Okay. Ya, yeah, teacher. Nos avisa Brandon cuando haya completado la fecha de inicio del curso y la fecha de finalización. Listo, teacher. Ok, continuamos con el video para Brandon. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, Vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Sí. 
Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Eh, hay otros cursos, ¿verdad? Me parece que hay marketing digital y ese creo que tiene, uh -huh. que les pudiera interesar. Pero si uno no quiere, no puede poner nada ahí. Sí, no, lo puede ah, dejar así. Luego, Brandon, fíjese bien, antes de que haga clic en Submit, no sí. vaya a hacer clic en Submit hasta que termine de ver el video porque va a tener que tomar una screenshot, ¿ok? Aquí vamos. Ah, ok. Ok, bye. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a sin enviar. Cuando ustedes han recibido ese mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Ok, en este sentido le toman la screenshot, la comparte vía WhatsApp en el chat del grupo de clase y le escribe su nombre completo para identificar que es la encuesta de Brandon, ok. A esta imagen que está ahí se le va a tomar la captura. Sí, a la que le va a llegar a usted cuando uh, envíe la encuesta. Sí, ah, es okay. similar a esta. Le envío ya. Sí, correcto, y le toma la screenshot. Ok. Cuando nos comparta la imagen, Brando, don't forget to write your name and last name, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, perfecto. Dicho, ¿qué fue la fecha de ingreso? Me sacó Zoom. Sí, la fecha Dicho. de ingreso. La fecha de ingreso. Dicho. Hola. Hola, le escu yo le escucho, no sé si me de, escucha. A ti, del Leo. 1 de noviembre al 29. Es que como me están cayendo un montón de mensajes aquí. Él, él, él no nos escucha. Eh, ingreso. Tilín. Tilín. ¿Qué sí, fecha Patricio. de ingreso? Hola. Mira, Hola. del 1 al 29. Del 1 de novie el 1 de noviembre del 2022 es la fecha de ingreso. 1 de noviembre okay. de 2022, sí, y estamos terminando hoy 29 del 11 de noviembre de 2022. Es que él no nos escuchaba bien. Brando, no se le olvide enviarnos la ya captura. Sí, especial siempre. <ríe> siempre bien empático el grupo, ¿verdad? Tengo, ya les leo lo de quienes tengo. Así son mis compañeros. <ríe> Leti. <ríe> Leti. Lilipeta Andrade. Ok, Cristi lo envió dos veces. Gracias, Cristi. Carranza Rivas, Estefany Carranza. Ok. Carla Sofía, Josué, Claudia María, Nelson Orlando. Uh, Concepción Marina Alvarado de Navides, Pablo, Juan Antonio, Darío, Mariana Scarlett, Marina Yancy, Luis Miguel Corvera, Mirna Lisset. Ok, sigo esperando la de Brandon. Brandon tomó la captura. Brandon. Sí, dicho, ahorita lo mando, perdón. Ah, ay. ok, ok, ay. Creí Tenía que había para... perdido. Ajá, muy bien, muy bien. Oh, 
<risa> ok. Atilio terminó el llenado. ¿O necesita que le colaboremos con más información? El video está. Mm. El video <risa> para, para <risa> Tilio. Ay, ya en el nivel 5. Y... No, pero es que para Bravo. Es que no está bien, teacher, ya solo. Ah, por eso. O, solo porque... Lo necesita en inglés. El, el Ajá, ya, ya. That is the idea. No solo la fecha normal. No, no okay, me Atilio. Okay, uh, thank uh, you, Atilio. I have received, uh, uh, we have received your image. Okay, muy bien. Okay, so, no problem. No hubo problema, solo la de Brandon Zavala, seguimos esperando. Sí, teacher, es que me ha trabado el celular. <laughs> ya le va a llegar... Vaya, ok, entonces continuemos porque hoy es el último día de clase y tenemos que terminar, ok. So, class, you were practicing the conversations, right? In the, in the breakout rooms. ¿Y quién se salió? Vamos a ver quién se, quién huyó. Quiero ver quién huyó. Menos uno, quién, o menos cinco. Menos cinco, ¿verdad? Mi Celia Cristina. Qué barbaridad, mi Celia Cristina. No, ella aquí está. <ríe> la cara de Carla. Uy, buscándola. A ver si es cierto. Did she go away? Atilio, capaz que lo sacó Zoom otra vez. Sí, Atilio. Ay, no, qué pena. Ok, class. Let's continue then. Continuemos entonces, ¿sí? Here we go. Let's continue with our manual. And you were practicing these conversations, but remember class D. Thank you, Brandon. Veamos. Okay. Okay, muy bien, gracias. Norma Patricia lo reenvió. Muy bien. So here uh, we have uh, procedures, rules, no rules, no. Rules, procedures, rules. Yeah, no, not yet, sir. And request, request. What else? And here you have the procedures to request permission. You were working a lot, very hard yesterday on this issue. Do you remember here? You were sharing with your partners the situations under which you ask for permission to be absent at work. Also, you were working with this permission form, you were filling in this permission form. And right now here we go, okay, with this other conversation. With when and if, the two clauses that we were practicing yesterday and on Friday. So there is a cause and effect. If this happens, then there is a consequence. When this happens, there is a consequence. But one point to remember is when the clause goes at the beginning, with when or if, you need to write a comma. And then you continue with the rest of the sentence. Is that okay? You were also class uh, on a scramble, these statements. And number two was a question, yeah? And right now we're going to go over uh, the other part in which how to use if and when to join clauses uh, you were practicing. And also you were writing a short paragraph about the policies and procedures at your workplace using if and when to join the clauses. And you did a great job because it is writing and using punctuation. So uh, it is kind of hard because usually you don't write a comma in a sentence. So yesterday you began that process. So congratulations because you are one step further. And now here we're going to continue with the policies, company procedures and policies. How is it this situation? Company procedures and policies. Read the following article about 
policy and procedure and write policy or procedure in the blanks. Here we go. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action, which is established to provide a guide toward receptive business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization's vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policies as a glove where national boundaries, oceans, mountains, ranges, and other major features are easily identified. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well-written procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying job responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures are actually permit, actually good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering off an acceptable path identified by the company's management team. So here we have the definition for what is a policy and what is a procedure. What you are going to be working right now in groups in the breakout rooms is this. I need you to read, to take turns and practice pronunciation, reading the definition for policy and procedure. When you finish that, then you're going to scroll, scroll, and you are going to determine. You have from one to five. You read and you analyze Okay, the sentence, and you decide if it is a procedure or if it is a policy, yeah? According to the context and the definition that you are going to read and have clear right now. So this is at page 47. Class, do you have any question about this activity? No? Okay, so reading comprehension practice right now. Here we go. Let's see. Breakout rooms. Everybody needs to be practicing, okay? Because right now, yes. According to the platform class right now, there are five students in each group, okay? I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Go to your groups. Thank you, please. Join your groups. Enjoy your new groups.
Enjoy your groups. Atilio, I need you in your group. Atilio, go to your group number one. Thank you. Mirna Lisette, go to your group, please. And Mariana Scarlett, please join the group as a listener. So you can participate just as a listener, okay? Mirna Lisette. Lo perdimos, Tilito. ¿Por qué? Hola. Hola. Es que lo vimos entrecortado. Cámbiense compañía internet, Tilín. Hola. <laughs> That's why I said enjoy your groups. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> Atilio, no, no. this group is so empathic. Este grupo es empático. Yo lo la empatía. Okay, let's practice. Help him, please. Be merciful to him. Okay, and here you are, uh, Tony, Christy, Celia Cristina, Brandon, Atilio, and Wendy. Okay, practice. Bye. Okay. Okay. Vaya. Sí, don Pablo, que Sandra no estaba disponible, creo yo. Okay. What is a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action. To hand use as they are. This is accomplished by pro providing the read win limits and, and choice of alternative that can be used to give their decision making process as they attempt to overcome problems and light to deem of police as a global national boundaries, ocean, montai, right, and other man, major factories are easily identified. Remember, wow. Norma, Norma, wow. recuerde policy, policy, ok, policy, policy, okay. Eh, veamos, procedure, eh, what is a procedure, overcome, overcome, for national boundaries, 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 ocean, mountain, mountain, Rangers and the, and other major features are really easily uh, are easily identified. Okay, continue, please. What is a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide to reader with clear and easy understood plan on action requ required to carry out or implement. A uh, policy well right procedures. Espérame, se me movió la pantalla. We me managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a roadmap where the trip details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering, wandering off an acceptable 
path identified by the company's management team. Ay, van a disculpar que tengo un perro que está emocionado con los perros en la calle. Ok. Marina, no sé si sigue usted con el primero. Sí. Okay. okay, solo me lo hace un poquito. Ahorita, 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 perdón. Ahí. Espérenme, es que solamente déjeme darle zoom a la pantalla del teléfono. Ah, si quieres, se lo amplío también de acá. No, 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 estoy bien ahí, ahí, ahí. Ok, qué bueno. Solo necesitaba que, que se centrara. Bye. A policy is a predetermined course or action, which is established to provide a guide toward accepted business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization, vision, and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision markers on how to handle its house. What say is out? Issues. Issues. Issues as they are. It is accomplished by providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternative that can be used to guide. They data the decision making process as they attempt to avoid problems. I like to think of police as global where national boundaries, oceans, mountain, runs, and other major futures and easily Identify. Yeah, easily imagine. identified. Easily features are easily identified. Okay. Easily identified. Very well. Continue. Claudia y José. Josué, no sé si están disponibles. Claudia María, are you available? Claudia. No, she's not. No. Continue. What okay. is a pr procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the writer with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy. A well writing procedure we also help eliminate common misunderstanding by identifying job responsibility and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit managers to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedures as a roadmap where the three details are highlighted in order to prevent a person from getting lost or wandering of an acceptable path identified by the company management team. What is a, a policy? A policy is a predetermined course of action which is established to provide a guide toward asset business strategies and objectives. In other words, it is a direct link between an organization vision and their day-to-day -day operations. Policies identify the key activities and provide a general strategy to decision makers on how to handle issues as they arise. This is a accomplish it, be providing the reader with limits and a choice of alternatives that can be used to guide their decision-making process as they attempt to overcome problems. I like to think of policy as a globe where national boundaries, ocean, mountain, 
Rangers and other major features are easily identified. Respondemos ya. Le toca a Marina leer el otro párrafo. Ok. Solo lo hace un poco más abajo, por favor. Uh, ¿Es, el, es el, el segundo el que va a leer? Sí, oh, ah, es que yo lo tengo con Zoom, por eso me parecía cortado, perdón. Ah. Was it a procedure? The ultimate goal of every procedure is to provide the reader with a clear and easily understood plan of action required to carry out implement a policy. A well writing product procedure will also help eliminate common misunderstandings by identifying your responsibilities and establishing boundaries for the employees. Good. Procedure actually permit managers to control any advanced and prevent the organization and employees from making costly mistakes. You can think of a procedure as a road map where the try trip, the trip, the times I are highlighted in order to bring a person from getting lost or wandering. Uh, of an acceptable but identified by the company management team. Finish. Hello. Oh. Perdón. Contestemos si gustan. Ahorita subo esto. Bien. Wonder. 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 Wonder of um, acceptable from identified by the companies and manager teams. One, two, oh. three, four, five, six, today. <laughs> no, son palabras que nos cuesta a todos, tranquila. Y ella sola me dice, mira, son palabras. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way we learn that's correct very good that is the attitude it's the attitude okay very well plan of action required to carry out or implement a policy a uh, well writing. Uh, writing produce will also help eliminate common mis ay, misunderstanding uh, by identifying job responsibilities and establishing bound boundaries for the employees. Good procedures actually permit manager to control events in advance and prevent the organization and employees uh, from market, no, from making costly uh, mistake. You can, you can think of a producer as a real map uh, where the trip details are Highlight, highlighted in order to prevent the person from getting lost 
or quartering of an acceptor path identified by the company's management team. Ay, no sé si hay unas palabritas menos trabadas ahí. Va, eh, va a copiar la respuesta ya. Uh, le voy a tomar un screenshot, permítame. La coche que no mira. Teacher, había otra, Ahí está. otra, otra hoja, otra página. No, so, por el momento solo estas dos actividades, desde okay. la 1 hasta la 5, ¿ok? Ok. Sí, eh, practicar la lectura, ¿verdad? Porque sí hay palabritas que a algunos les cuestan más que a otros. Entonces, por eso hacer énfasis en la lectura y como es reading comprehension, lectura y comprensión para contestar estas cinco situaciones, para determinar si es, como muy bien lo han hecho, procedure or policy porque han estado trabajando bastante con la temática de las políticas institucionales de las empresas. Ok, but you are done, ok. So let me verify and in one minute we are going to get back, ok. Thank you for your active participation. <laughs> You have the answers for uh, the statements if they are. Estamos todavía ensayando, teacher, pero pero ya no pasamos a la. Ah no, yo preguntaba nada más. A ti yo sigue teniendo problemas con el audio. Sí. Establish, establish. Actual permit manager. Hello? Sí. Hello. Sí. El más importante, el último. Let me We're see. Finished. It's a connection between a company's vision. Es una conexión entre, en, entre la visión de la compañía. ¿Eso es una política o es un procedimiento? Que como en policy menciona la visión y en el otro no se lo puse. Aquí. Vaya. It is a direct link. Under day to day operations. Es decir, cuando a uno le dicen que, que, que tiene que identificarse con la empresa, ¿verdad? Usted hace de la visión de la empresa su visión, porque dependiendo de su performance. Así es como va a ser exitosa la empresa, ¿sí? Porque no es con los jefes que es exitosa la empresa, es con los empleados, ¿sí? Sí, también. Así es, entonces por eso es policy. It permits managers to control events in advance procedure. It can be compared to a trip map. Uh -huh. And y la siguiente, la number four, policy for you. Okay. It can be compared to a glove where you find many things. Uh, when people write this well, there are not misunderstanding procedures. Es correcto, por eso hay que ser claro. ¿Se recuerdan cuando ustedes estaban haciendo las políticas de la empresa que suponía era de ustedes, sí? Entonces, ahí tenían que ser bien claros para que el empleado no tenga no, este. No, no, no. Así es decir, no, pero es que yo entendí esto. No, pero es esto, ¿sí? Ok, so it is uh -huh. a very clear procedure. Very well. So now, let me verify. And in one minute, we are going to get back, ok? Thank you. You may continue practice reading. Ok, y luego este, hacemos un poquito por acá. Y... Óigame, acá no tenía que determinar si era falso o verdadero, sino que solamente si era política, uh, institucional o un procedimiento empresarial, ¿verdad? Ok. Policy procedure 
procedure, policy, and procedure. Okay, very well. Que nos habíamos ido por esto primero. Okay. So you are ready so far, yes? Tan listos hasta el momento, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, great. Very well job. And everybody was reading, right? Todos estaban leyendo, except yes. Jose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now you're done. Right. Okay, great. So we may return. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see, we're going to compare the answers, but let me go to Miguel Okay, yes, they are. Okay. I think that we can get back yes thank you let's return Okay, class, here we go. Let's share the answers that you have. Number one, in your opinion class, when we say it's a connection between a company's vision, what is it? Is it a policy or a procedure? Policy. Policy. Excellent for the pronunciation, policy, not policy, because I was listening, policy. no, policy, okay. Policy. Excellent. Number two, it permits managers to control events in advance. Is it the procedure? procedure. Okay. Procedure. 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 Right. Number three, it can be compared to a trip map Procedure. 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 Number four, it can be compared to a club where you find many things. Policy. Policy. And number five, when people write this well, there are not misunderstandings. Procedures. 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 Okay. Because it is a guide, yeah? As a manual. Okay, very well, congrats. Now, here we go. Company procedures and policy. This is the extra grammar practice. In number one, we're going to work this individually because it is your knowledge. Fill in the space in each sentence using either could, could I, or could you. Could I or could you? Uh, let's go over number one. Let's do it together as an example. Close could your you? please. It's very cold in here. Could I or could you? Could you? Ah, you see the question. Okay. Excellent. Could you? Now you continue with the others and later we're going to double check. You can do it. 
open the door. Uh, this is uh, page 48, okay? Exercise number one, from one to seven, for you to do it individually. When you finish, you tell me, teacher, I'm done or finished, and we're going to double check, okay? But focus, you have two choices, could I or could you? Piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Open the door for me, please. I can't end this book. Okay, somebody said finished. No. Okay, hold it, hold it. Focus on your answers, okay? Analyze them carefully.
Okay, class, while you finish exercise number one, I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance for today. Atilio. Listen. How oh, great, your sound is excellent. Great, Brandon. Brandon. Thank you. Claudia Maria. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. 
First call, Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Second call, Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Not present at the moment. Absent. Concepcion Marina. Present. Thank you. Darío Antonio. I am here, teacher. Thank you so much. Stephanie Carranza. Stephanie Carranza. Stephanie Carranza, hello. Absent. Oh, ah, here. Thank you. Hello. Josué. Josué. Okay. Present via chat. Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Always here. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Marianne Scarlett. Marianne Scarlett, are you here? Marianne Scarlett. She does. Marianne Scarlett, do you listen to me? Me escucha, Marianne Scarlett. Sí, teacher. Marianne Scarlett, se puede quedar esta noche conmigo después de la clase 10 minutos. Solo usted me hace falta. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Marina Jansi. Marina Jansi. Thank you, Marina. Mirna Lisset. Mirna. Present. Present. Thank you, Miss Mirna. Nelly, where are you? Ah, oh, over here. Present. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you. Pablo. Pablo. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Leticia. Sandra Leticia. Present. Just in time. Okay. Wendy, where are you? Wendy, Wendy. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Miss Celia Cristina. Hey, Miss Celia Cristina. Present. Excellent. <laughs> Amazing. Now, class, let's see. If we have. Teacher, the, the, no me if, mencionó, teacher. ¿A quién no mencioné? Nelson Orlando. Nelson. Sí. Always present, pero. Oh, forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Hey, no, I didn't on purpose to, to check if you if you were paying attention and if your audio was working para verificar si el audio estaba funcionando, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, so here we go, class. Thank you, Nelson. Your attendance was taken. So in number one, we have class. Could you close your window, please? It's very cold in here. Number two. Could, could, you, could you open? open? Could you open the door for me, please? Podrías abrir la puerta para mí, por favor? I am carrying all these books. Could you open the door for me, please? Now, number three. I didn't understand what you said to me. Could, could you? Could you? you? Could you repeat, please? repeat it, please? Could you repeat it, please? Excuse me, your music is on very loud. Could you turn it? Could you turn it down a little? Oh, no. Yes. No. Oh, yes. No, porque como le I turn it down a little. Puedo bajar un poco. No, porque entonces usted es, estaría, sería, no sería polite, porque es como que usted le está bajando el volumen, pensando que la otra persona no lo va a bajar el volumen, sí. Pero, como no recuerda, hacer. pero recuerde ¿Podría que... ¿Podría yo bajarlo o podrías tú bajarle? No, pero cuando usted le dice podría bajarlo, ya le está imponiendo que quiere que, eh, como una obligación, y recuerden que usamos CUD, como la forma más polite que hay, ¿sí? La forma más cortés de pedir algo. Por, en esa perspectiva es que en El Salvador sí se puede, ¿verdad? En nuestro idioma. Y ah, se ah, podría, sí. pero en, en el entender que could es una polite request, ¿verdad? Y que la persona va a comprender, entonces sería, pero ahí ese sería como en nuestra no, perspectiva. No que o lo haces tú o lo hago yo, sí. Pero eh, sería, could you 
de acuerdo a la estructura sería, en inglés. Sería de la forma amable, dice usted. Así es, correcto, sí. Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Over here. Could. Could, could, you, I, lend me, could you lend me? Could you lend me $20 till then? Number six, please. Could. Could I? I borrow. Your could car. I borrow your car until tomorrow as mine is being repaired? Recuerden que para lend es could you y para borrow could I? Yes. The secretary isn't here. Could I leave a message? Message Why? for her? Could I? Could I leave a message for her, please? The secretary isn't here. Could I leave a message for her, please? And that's it. Yes? Questions or comments? Yes. Okay, tell me. Yes, Miss Celia Cristina. No question, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. So we are in agreement. Only in that situation, could you turn it down a little? Because it is polite request, okay? And now you are going to fill in the space in each sentence using either should or shouldn't. Do you remember? So we have from number one to number seven. So you need to analyze and remember should or shouldn't is for a strong suggestion or advice. But in this case it's about policies at work, yeah? and some uh, problems at work. When you finish, you let me know, okay?
finish this part number two? Yes. Okay, yes. here we go. In number one, we say you should or shouldn't. You should. You should. You should. Okay. You should. Excellent. So we say you should call your boss if you are coming late to work. Number two. You shouldn't. Should. Sure. Okay. Shouldn't. You shouldn't spend too much time on the internet, right? Number three, you, you should you work. should you should work over time. If there is too much to do at the workplace. Number four, you should shouldn't or shouldn't, shouldn't. 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 Narcotics of your place. Okay, number four is I think it applies to sure. the companies. You shouldn't make use of narcotics in any facility of your workplace. Number five, shouldn't sure. 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 work casual clothes when there is a supervision in your company. Number six, your Sure. You should. You should. You should record computer. Problems at the tech support department. Great. Now number seven. You. You shouldn't. Should. You shouldn't take should. some else call. You take, take someone, someone call. else's calls. Okay. Very well. And that's it. So we have one. Uh, number two negative. Number four negative, number five negative, and number seven number negative, seven. right? Mm -hmm. This is related to policies at work, right? And now here we have these three sentences. Join the clauses using if or when and use the correct punctuation, yeah? If you remember, we were making emphasis in this situation yesterday. Use the correct punctuation. Let's begin working. And as soon as you finish, you let me know, okay? Remember that in some cases, I, well, actually in the three cases, you can use either if or when, yeah? and there is no problem. Let's see number one. There are different possibilities. So one should be 
una posibilidad, ¿cuál sería? If I bueno. get late to work, I call my boss. But if we write, if I get late to work, comma, mm -hmm. I call, call my boss. Mm -hmm. I call my my boss. boss. Okay, full stop. Or the other possibility for this one, mm -hmm. I call my boss, I call my boss if I get late to work. But notice that here, in the second case, you don't use a coma. En el segundo caso, no usamos una coma porque la cláusula con if no va al principio, ¿sí? Y ahora si la trabajamos con when. Ok, when, when I get late to work. Coma. I call my boss. My boss. And the other alternative, using when? Uy. I call my boss when I get late to work. Excellent. That is the way. And then you say, I call my boss when I get late to work y ahí tienen las dos posibilidades con énfasis en la en la puntuación verdad siempre que va al inicio de la cláusula entonces eh, coma now number two need a day off requested with uh, HR if I If I need a day off, coma, I, I request it with human resources. Human yeah. resources. And now with when? When, when I need a day off, coma, I request it human resources. With human resource, with, with HR, HR, or the other way around, o de la otra forma, ¿verdad? Cuando no iniciamos con when or con if, ¿ya? Yeah. Okay. I need day. No sería. Uh -huh. When I need a day off, I request it with human resources. When I need a day off, I request it with human resources. Yes. Ahora vamos con la número tres. Porque ya solo tienes que seguir el patrón, ¿verdad? Sí, ahora no vamos a iniciar ni con if ni con when. Sino que va a ir la cláusula al centro. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría la número tres? There's too much work to do. Work extra hours. Uh, I, I work we I work extra hours I, when if, or if okay if there's two if there there is there's too much work to do too much work to do very well. Y ahora hacemos la cláusula con uh, when. when. Mm -hmm. I work. Extra hours. Extra hours. 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 Uh, when. There's, there is. There is. Two. Much work. Too much work to do. Fíjense que acá en la número dos hemos iniciado con la cláusula if, por lo tanto lleva coma. Y en la otra versión iniciamos con when, por lo tanto lleva coma. Pero en la número tres, las dos oraciones que hemos escrito no inician ni con if ni con when. 
Por lo tanto, no lleva coma, ¿verdad? Sí. Y, pero si se pueden escribir, se pueden invertir el orden, ¿sí? Eso es lo que hacíamos énfasis y podrían escribir las cuatro opciones tal cual como lo hicimos en la number one. ¿Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Very well. So, Miss Scarlett is going to stay with the teacher for the last one-on-one -on -one session. Class, congratulations for your work on the platform. I am so proud of this group. You work very well. You were persistent. The 20 are going to finish at least academically with me, okay? Because your work is done and you have been in classes, but okay. <laughs> uh, I wish you the best. I wish you a Merry Christmas and the best of the years for 23. It was a real pleasure to work with you. And good luck for your next level. Continue with the training in the English language because believe me, it is a vehicle to social movement for people, okay? So enjoy your holidays in December and take care of yourself, okay? Be happy so much, and sleep well. Just okay? for you. Okay. Thank you. Likewise, have a good night and only Miss Scarlett is going to stay with me. I hope she's here. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. I sleep bye -bye. well. Happy New Year. Blessings. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for Merry everybody. Christmas. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Take care. Good night. Have a good bye. night. Have a good night. Blessing teacher. My pleasure. Bye bye. Take care. Have a good night. Take care. Bye bye. It was the time for the one-on-one -on -one session with Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez, and she said she was going to be here, but she left the meeting before, so I think she's not going to take it. But anyways, if she had any problem with the connectivity, I'm going to wait for her for a couple of minutes.
Sigo esperando a la estudiante Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez. Tal vez se puede conectar por teléfono. Bueno, la estudiante Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez no se logró comunicar para la sesión de refuerzo. Probablemente tuvo problemas de conexión. Damos por cerrada la sesión y la espera para la participante. 